Hey guys, welcome back to What the Fat. This is your host, Dr. Ryan Lowry, and we are past episode 100. It's been an amazing, amazing ride, an amazing journey, and I'm excited to have several hundred more with you guys. I appreciate all the love and support. You guys have just been amazing with the outreach. You've loved episode 100. You've loved the interview with Miles. It's just been an incredible, incredible time, and that's what I love to do. I love to tell people's story, and that's literally the entire reason why I started doing a podcast, is if I didn't have enough going on, I just wanted to be able to literally tell and, and help other people, coach them through, and maybe tell other people's stories, but also like pull people out of this whirlwind. Like I was talking with the team earlier today, and one of my biggest missions in life is I think so many people are trapped in this whirlwind of like negativity, and they don't even know it, right? It's not like they're going around saying, I want to be negative, I want to be negative, it's that they're get, they get caught up in it of like someone cuts them off in the morning. Then they spill their coffee and then they get mad at their coworker. Then they go home at night because they had a horrible day and they have a horrible relationship with their wife or their husband and their kids. And then it just spirals. It like extends into the next day because you wake up having an argument with your spouse and then it just like spirals into the next day and you get trapped in that. And I think you need someone to come in and like help you guide you out of that and be like, it's okay. Like let's take a step back and understand like we're okay. Like we have it a lot better off than a lot of people and let's gain some perspective and positivity and ultimately live fulfilled lives. So that's what I'm trying to do. That's our goal here on What the Fat. And today I want to talk really quick. Today's going to be a micro podcast about something that really struck a chord with me uh, and something that I want to share with you guys is because I had someone reach out on Instagram and they told me this story and I was like, I have to share this. I have to share this. And they didn't want to come on the podcast to share it. So I was like, do you mind if I share it? And they said, absolutely. So um, in essence, they reached out and this person uh, recently got diagnosed with cancer. And they reached out to me and they're like, and it was a couple months ago and they reached out and they went through all the, the things that they needed to go through, radiation, chemo, they restricted carbohydrates, they did hyperbaric oxygen therapy, IV therapy, everything. And just got another scan and like the tumor shrunk significantly. It's almost gone. And like the doctors were blown away, impressed, everything. And the words that came after that, after she told me the story, the words that came after that were, she goes, I felt as if I won the lottery. And I was like, wait a minute. I was like, can you, like, what do you mean by that? Like, what do you mean by you felt like you won the lottery? And she goes, you know how many people go get, diagnosed or in a similar situation that I am and don't have the resources, don't have the knowledge, don't have the wherewithal, don't have the willpower to push through and they end up passing away or they end up getting sick or they end up becoming bedridden um, and it just wears away at them. She goes, I'm so fulfilled and full of life and excited for the, for the next phase of my life. She goes, I feel like I won the lottery. And like I was just like, I had to stop. And I was like, holy crap, like her perspective, that perspective alone of her being like literally going through what is someone's worst nightmare of getting diagnosed, having to go through chemo, having to go through radiation, and then coming out on the other end and saying, I feel like I won the lottery. When everyone else on the outside would look and be like, I felt like you won the opposite of the lottery. Like it was, it was the worst thing that could have ever happened. But she understands and takes perspective and goes, I have so many amazing things going on. And I came out and was able to do something that a lot of other people weren't able to do. And so I feel like I'm, I won the lottery. And I want to make that more of the norm. I want to help other people win the lottery. And it just made my heart feel so much because I'm like, this is, this is what we need more of in the world. These are the types of people that I want to encourage and, and things that I want to help inspire people to take action on is how do you inspire someone to go in and say, you know what, you don't have to be someone, one of the lucky few uh, you can go in and be the exception and help others be the exception. And I think that's one of the most powerful things that I've ever heard, I've heard of in a long, long time is someone who got diagnosed with cancer coming out on the other end and saying, I feel like I won the lottery. And it made me do some reflecting. And it made me realize that like, I feel like I won the lottery. Like literally every day when I wake up, I feel like I won the lottery in the sense that like, I feel like I have an able body, right? How many people in the world do not have a function functioning legs like think about that just think about that alone how many people in the world do not have functioning legs where they're not able to stand up and walk around if you're one of those people who do you're you have a gift and some sometimes people would do anything to be able to have that function and you take it for granted what about functioning arms 
What about fingers? Who has 10 fingers, right? Who has two ears, a nose that can smell fragrances and food, eyes that can see beautiful pictures or landscapes or friends and family and be able to see what they look like, a mouth, a tongue to be able to taste what food actually tastes like, right? That like the bare minimum, that doesn't even mean hair, um, somewhat of muscles, uh, being able to wake up in a bed. Like I feel every single day of my life like I won the lottery because I have everything in the world that I, and more that I could ever want to live a fulfilled life. And so many people are in a worse situation that would kill to have some of the things. That would kill to have five fingers. That would kill to have an arm. That would kill to have a bed. That would kill to have running water. And we take those things for granted. And so like it made me really shift my perspective and understand the fact that like I feel like every single day I wake up, I won the lottery. Because you know what? It's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed. And I was just having this conversation with someone and I was talking on another podcast and I said, you know how many people wake up every single day and go through the motions and don't realize that when they go to bed that night, they might not wake up. And that is a scary, scary reality. And I tell you guys every single time, I'm going to tell you how it is. Like I tell people, I tell this to my mom and she hates me every time I tell her this. I'm like, and I, or I talk about it on a podcast. I said, mom, you understand. Like I'm just, I'm just speaking from fact that every time I travel, Every time I get in a car, let alone every time I get on a plane, every time I walk into that plane, there's no guarantee I'm going to land. There's no guarantee I'm going to get off that plane. People are like, oh, why are you so pessimistic? I'm not pessimistic about it. I use that as fuel to be grateful in the moment, to understand like I, there's no guarantee of the next minute, let alone the next day. Something can happen at any moment and people just let life pass them by instead of living a fulfilled and in the moment life. And it's literally one of the reasons why the next tattoo I'm going to have is going to be be here now because for me that the constant reminder of being present in the moment and being fully engaged instead of letting life pass me by and then being like, oh, what happened over the last six months? Like, no, I know exactly what happened over the last six seconds, let alone the last six months because I'm so engaged and fully enveloped in what I'm doing that I never want to let life pass me by because you never know what that what that next step is or what's going to happen tomorrow. You can never predict it. And so... I just wanted to jump on and and talk to you guys about that because I thought it was so powerful, that concept of like someone coming to me at what most people would consider one of the worst things in the world and saying, I feel like I won the lottery. Like, I feel like, I feel like I won the lottery. And I'm like, that is unbelievable. That is crazy to think about, but I love it. I love it because every day I wake up, I feel the same way. I feel so grateful. I feel so much gratitude that I have what I have, and it's not a lot by any means, but it's more than what some people have. And for that, I'm extremely, extremely grateful for it, and I appreciate it. And there's a quick interesting story, so I think a lot of people will relate this title or will relate what we're talking about to like the actual lottery. And I think, I won't even go into that because I I have a totally different story that dealt with family members who literally like, always constantly surrounded their lives like they're spending around this fact that like oh i'm gonna win the lottery i'm gonna win the lottery and they would spend copious amounts of money my grandmother was one of them when we passed away, when she passed away um they found garbage bags full of lottery tickets that she hid from my grandfather and she was just always like well what is I, what if i hit it one time one time you got to be in it to win it right you got to be in it to win it and i look at that now and i'm like so saddened by it and it breaks my heart because like Every day you've won the lottery. Like, yeah, like people think hundreds of millions will make their life amazing and fulfilled and do stuff. And can money help? Sure. Can money help you do incredible things? Absolutely. I'm, I will never be one of those people that say money can't help in any regard. But is money the only thing that's going to dictate your happiness? Absolutely not. Um, there are several people. If you look at the people who have won the lottery, a lot of them are bro- are bankrupt now because they go into it step into money that they didn't even earn they spend it on ridiculous things that they don't need and then all of a sudden it's like well where did that money go and they don't know what to do and then boom it comes crashing back down and they're worse off than had than before winning the lottery and so i want to challenge you guys to look at the lottery and look at lottery as being daily life 
and you being one of the people who are listening to this podcast and have woke woke up today. You are one of the people in the world who woke up today and there's thousands of people who didn't. You're one that woke up today, so you won the lottery. Congratulations. And I hope people take that away and understand that like every single day you wake up, every single opportunity you have to to get some sort of form of success, whatever that means to you, every single day you get to spend with family members or loved ones or every single day you get to sleep in a bed, you're winning the lottery. Congratulations. You are a lottery winner. And it doesn't have to mean that's coming with money. It means that it's coming in things that in some essence money can't buy. And that's fulfillment. That is fulfillment and being present in the moment. I can give you a hundred million. I can give anyone a hundred million dollars and that doesn't mean they're going to be fulfilled. Cool. They'd buy some cool stuff and they, they might invest it or, or do some good with it. But like not everyone. Out of 100 people, maybe five of them would actually figure out a way to utilize the money to make it a fulfilled life instead of one just of someone who's stepping into money. Imagine you can step into that every single day. Imagine you can step in and you've won the opportunity to live a fulfilled life and someone else didn't win that and they didn't wake up today. So guys, I challenge you and I like to do these challenges in these micro podcasts. I challenge you to, to shift your perspective. When you wake up tomorrow, and or today, if you're looking at yourself right now as you're listening to this podcast, realize that you've won the lottery. Realize that so many people would give or pay whatever amounts of money to be in the situation that you're in, regardless of how difficult you might perceive it. People would pay out the nose to be in the situation that you're in, and you've won the lottery. So I challenge you this. Don't waste it. Don't spend it on dumb things. Don't spend your days doing dumb things that you don't like, that you hate, that aren't going to fulfill you. Take what you've won, which is the day, and utilize it to the best of your ability. So with that being said, guys, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. We have so many incredible guests lined up, so many incredible things coming with What the Fat um, and other stuff like DrLowry.com, which hopefully many of you have gone to. If you haven't yet, please go check that out. I'd love to get your guys' feedback on the website. Shoot me a message. Let me know what you think. Guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys are incredible. I'm super excited and honored to serve you in any way possible and bringing you this content. So love you guys. As always, make positivity louder. I'll talk to you soon.